everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Darkest Dungeon. We're pretty much ready to embark on our next mission, if I remember correctly. So I am, uh, I'm somewhat committed to doing a medium mission. Considering we just fought the boss here, I think it's better for us to fight the boss on the Warrens. Uh, a medium mission, ah, maybe we want to do a short mission just because it's going to be, imp like, very simple. Um, is anyone going to level up? Kate would level up from it, but what, what was my plan for this mission? It was going to be like Josh, Liza Minnelli, Garin, and Quill. Where do you operate from? It doesn't seem like it matters too much whether you're in the first spot or the second spot. It doesn't seem like it matters much whether you're in the first slot or the second slot. You need to be in the third slot. You basically need to be in the third slot. Um, Is there any... We can skill some stuff. That makes it possible to run the Bounty Hunter in the fourth spot. But they won't be able to do the thing that gives them the bonus for, uh... For hitting marked targets. So it seems like kind of a stupid option. What if we run our Bounty Hunter in the third slot? But who would we run in the fourth slot? Josh has, like, no skills that operate here. Uh... Well, Dirk Stab, he does have, but that moves him. We, we would just be, like, balloting and inspiring too nonstop. What about you, Garin? You can't use Pick to the Face in the fourth slot. I don't like that. I don't like that very much at all. But we don't have any other healers, so I kind of think we don't have much of a choice. We might want to spend 900 and just spec into, like, something that does a lot. I mean, I don't really want to use Poison Dart. Lunge moves you forward. Is there anything that moves you back? <laughs> I, we have, like, a really good A team, a really good B team, and fuck everything else. <laughs> um, like, once we get outside of that, it gets a little tricky. I wonder if maybe there's, like, a healer in our stagecoach that we could take. There is not. Uh, okay, well... Considering it's a short mission, I think we should still totally be fine. But, okay, let's deck it out. Doesn't really matter wh who we put where. So we'll just set it up like this. I'm not spending any money at the guild or the uh, blacksmith yet. I mean, we can have our highway, man. We already have a pretty decent highway, man. We already have a pretty decent grave robber as well. well. Let's try out our bounty hunter in the third slot. I don't know. If we get a good bounty hunter, this could be awesome. And then who do we have in the fourth slot? We'd put our jester out there? We can't throw a healer out there. They can only really do Dirk Stab and Ballad. And the Dirk Stab is going to move them forward like crazy, but I... Guess we're going to try it. I mean... It's weird, but it might be able to get the job done. So what is our Bounty Hunter going to do? Shuffle single. Finish him. Gives you extra damage. Crit mod. You can use it from anywhere. That seems really good. So first turn is definitely going to be like Mark, and then probably just hit the shit out of them. I don't know, man. This is weird. I don't like this loadout, but... We're going to make do with it, hopefully. Uh, relatively short mission. So we can probably get by with eight food. And we can probably get by with eight torches. And we'll take one anti-venom, one bandage, one shovel. And then roll out. I've been taking way too much stuff. I'm trying to get out of the habit of overbuying for these short missions. And honestly, the only person I really care if they die here is Quill. Josh to some extent as well, I guess. To prosecute our war Quill is our big guy, though. So we got to explore 90% of rooms. Uh, it's a decent loadout. We can we can do this with only like minimal backtracking. The sax contents are yours. 25 gold. Starting to turn a profit already. Don't get stressed out yet. That's just embarrassing. Quill is bleeding. That is why I'm always happy to take some bandages. I don't think there's a more opportune, uh, opportune time to use them. I think you just use the bandages whenever you gotta use the bandages. No fighting. only the strength to follow it. So our scouting makes this pretty easy for us. We're just gonna walk into this area and then walk back. Sax contents are yours, 25 gold. I guess there's just a higher base level of stress that you get in the in the Warrens. And that's gonna increase as we do more here, but I'm I'm trying to be a little bit more conservative about torches because I am uh, you know, I'm I'm trucking through them pretty quickly here. If we don't need to use torches to avoid uh, enemies here. Let's not use torches to avoid enemies. We really, really don't want to have our units go through starvation, though. 
So I, maybe, you know, I'm starting to feel like we should have taken 12 food, but it's pretty unlikely that we have two more instances of starvation on this mission. I would be surprised at the very least. Sack's contents are yours. A hundred gold. Stashed heirlooms, that's lovely. Crests are kind of like the universal universal currency. Does anyone have a better chance than 30 of uh, disarming a trap? Josh has, to, I didn't send anybody out, or many people out with um, items, actually. That was very stupid. Pretty much everybody has 30, so who has the highest HP? Quill. Go for it. Quill actually has the low, he had 20, but he still got it. I'm an idiot. Whatever, it got the job done. Some of our units still have uh, trinkets from the last mission, so that's okay. But I've, I've got to definitely punish myself at some point for not um, remembering to do that. So we're just going to loop around here. We probably just need to go to every room but that last room. So we're already pretty much halfway there. Which is good. Ugh. No bleed. Good. It's already pretty good, considering, uh, you know, we've used a little bit of food and about half our torches. 500 gold for nothing there is crazy. Quill is looking like he's gonna need some stress relief. That dude is getting beat up a little bit. We didn't get a surprise, but that's okay. I am very interested to see how our combat works here. Wasting sickness. What the heck is wasting sickness? That seems terrible. We're gonna go for the chop, just for the, uh... Very good kill chance as opposed to a hue, which does have a kill chance, but not a good one. A That's pretty amazing. Blow. They didn't get any stress relief for that crit. Are you kidding me? Uh, we'll do. We'll roll a ballad here because I don't want to fuck up our positions too much yet. Munch. Lucky dodge. Lucky or good, I'll take either. We don't have any stuns here, so stress is going to be like a real issue with the the swine drummer. You are going to mark the swine drummer. So that we kill his bitch ass next turn. Wicked Hack throws out 6 to 12 damage. We could use Barbaric Yop, but the odds of it stunning the first unit are very bad. So I think we actually just go for an 80% chance to kill this unit. Executed with I'm okay with that. Now, I think we go for a chop on the back unit, because this guy's probably going to get killed by our bounty hunter anyway. Alright. Hopefully we get to go before he gets to go. This will do 10 to 20 damage. Nice. I do want to experiment with using the bounty hunter a little bit more often. We got some holy water out of that. That's not so bad. Um, I want to experiment with using the bounty hunter a little bit more often. A lot of people cite it as like their favorite class, so... Uh, I would very much like to uh, get to use them effectively myself. They just haven't really fit into the into my wheelhouse thus far. Pack contains loot. I'm very glad that we picked up some food there. I mean, that's the thing, right? You don't want to, like, overbuy food or torches, because you do find them fairly consistently in your missions. Uh, we might have to get a little bit scarce with our torches. Ah, we have three left, and we've only got two rooms to go to. I think we'll be fine. Ignore the books, please. Thank you. Could be combat here. Let's, uh, burn one of these bad boys. Surprise? Oh, we got some. Every time I say surprise, we get surprised. Our Hellion is uh, pretty much straight up useless in this position. That being said, we can probably make do 5 to 10. We might as well just go for the hit, right? Unless, what does finish him? Does 5 to 10. It all, oh, if, it, if they're stunned, it gives you extra damage. I get it now. There's some synergy there. Good crit. Lower some stress. Not on Quill, apparently. Um, we can get away with just having our Hellion at the back here. Because... Well, it's going to be a very quick fight for one. The other one is we still have our Jester at the front who can do okay DPS. But mostly, I think the reason we're not going to get punished on this mission is because it's it's short. If it was a longer mission, I think we'd have a, a lot more trouble. Anyway, uh, we're still above 76% light, so let's check this out. Good surprisal chance. Surprisal? I don't know if that's an actual word. This should be the last room we have to go to. So basically, I, you know, I'm just here for financial sake. Such That's why you always bring a shovel. These tunnels 200 gold for the shovel settlers. might end up saving you uh, a buttload in the end. So there's a second starvation, but we still have enough to survive a third round. This should be our last room. Let's pop a torch. And um, you know what? Let's even have some people eat some food. I should get in the habit of that as well. If this isn't the last room and we end up going through a starvation aspect, that's going to be terrible. But it should be the last room. I have never seen Swine Chopper before, as far as I know. I bet if we intimidate him... Nah, you shouldn't focus the tank, probably. Let's just go for the 
pretty good chance of getting a kill. That's that's fine. An AoE attack like Breakthrough will finish the job here. I don't really care if that inflicts... Actually, I do care that that inflicts bleed now that I think about it. Buff our whole party with a ballad. I really don't like rolling support Jester like this. I don't mind if this guy gets pulled forward. He resisted it, but I, I wouldn't have minded that much. Stomach cramps. Don't love that. Um, I think we mark the tank here for the hopes of taking him out more quickly with um, Wicked Hack. Uh, you have 2 HP? Honestly, Barbaric Yop? Oh, it only does 1 damage. 25 stun, 50 stun. Yeah, we'll go for the Breakthrough. My hope is that this makes it easier to target the Vomiting Swine Wretch as well. And this stress is going to be, I'm not going to say unavoidable, but I didn't focus that unit, so I, I had the expectation that it would end up happening. We'll chop the Swine Wretch. The reason we did that is because our Bounty Hunter could theoretically get the kill on the, this guy anyway, but we can focus him either way. Drums of Debilitation. He's marked and debuffed for lower dodge. Um, I think here we'll go for Wicked Hack on this unit at the back. That's a nasty crit that's going to fuck up our stress, but all told, this isn't so bad. Oh my god! A 40 crit with a marked unit with the Bounty Hunter. That's pretty awesome. We're going to go for the kill with Dirk Stab. Very easy final encounter. Can't be mad about this one at all. we got a, blood, a Bleeding Pendant, which we've already had, but other good stuff. We don't have a strong or a Skeleton Key, but we'll open it anyway. It's trapped. Whatever. Yeah, I was going to say, even if they get bled, we're just going to leave the mission. Don't want to risk uh, coming across like another thing that we need a shovel for, and we don't want to risk uh, coming across, you know, another starvation or something like that. Okay, so Quill is not level 3 yet. He got close. Josh is level 2. Josh got, I thought it said hard nipples. Hard noggin, stun resist. That's totally good. Kleptomaniac, very dangerous uh, when you're moving room to room. Thin blooded, eh, kind of sucks, but scouting chance is good. And of course, Kate gets yet another. Uh, uh, scouting chance is good. Oh, that's not Kate, that's Liza Minnelli. But our Hellions apparently have, like, terrible disease resist. Maybe it's because of the, uh, the oh, pendants I'm rolling them with. So well Bear Taffy retired to a private he's dice game in unknown whereabouts. But he's not very stressed. Rockley Smile got, uh, 56 stress recovered. Kate lost calm. Maul's lost off guard. And we'll probably do, like, another medium or another short mission here. Uh, we have 7,600 gold. What's your stress? 30. I don't think 30 is worth it yet. We can probably send you out on one more mission. 47 is worth it. So, Liza Minnelli, do you like anything? She won't pray. Minus 50% disease resist. Holy crap. That's terrible. But for now, just get less stressed out on the cheap. Let's look for a short level 3 mission. That's a boss. Medium level 3 mission. Gather 3 grain sacks. Medium level 3 mission. Complete 100% of room battles. Let's try this one. So, this is going to be our... Um, it's going to be our dream team minus Kate. Although we could put Kate out on this one. She's she's under leveled. I guess we want to take Mathis instead, but I'm going to miss those stuns. So you know what, Kate? Come on out here. I hope that this isn't going to be a huge problem. I mean, what's the difference between level 3 level 2? Stuff. We're going to be missing Bear, but we'll have a healer anyway. Maybe not such a good healer. No offense, Malls. But um, this is okay. All right, Sun Cloak. I like it. I don't know if this is a smart mission set up, but she'll get, uh, she'll get boosted anyway. Can we stack up Bleeding Pendants on her? Like, she'll get to level 3 if she beats this mission is what I'm getting at. Sweet. She's going to get plus 20% damage, which is just disgusting. Who else? Nick's coming out on this one. He's got nothing. Do we have, like, ranged, um, ranged attacks here? Like, something that gives you better range attack? I don't think so. Um, why not a Blightstone? Lowers his HP by 2, but gives him plus 10% chance to Blight skills. He does use Blight skills on occasion. I don't really want to lower his speed. In fact, I'd like to raise his speed, but it'll lower his accuracy. But it gives him extra damage. I don't know. Let's give that a try. Raises his speed by a little bit, and then we're rolling Mauls in the final slot, who is always decked out. Good enough. Let's provide. And this is a medium mission. Medium mission. All right. We know what a medium mission roughly needs. Wait, where are, where are we at, though? We're going to the ruins. Okay. So we might not need to double up on anti-venom. 
Especially with Nick around, he might be able to heal it anyway. We'll probably go 12 food. Maybe 16. I oftentimes go 16. You want to try to make do with 12 torches? I think we're going to take a little extra food. Because, uh... That's 18. Let's go 20. Because we're camping. We're going to eat 8 when we camp, ideally. Take 1. Take 2. 2. I think that's going to be good. Skeleton key will take because sometimes it pays for itself. But our inventory is going to fill up pretty quickly here. Let's launch it. Old habits die hard. <laughs> Alright, so this one might be a little bit of a longer episode because we're doing two at the same time. But hey, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. The fiends must be driven back. 100% of room and battles. Bad layout. Very bad layout here. I don't think we have a good scouting line. chance in this mission. That might be a bit, bit of an oversight on my part. Kate's still stressed out too? Maybe I shouldn't have taken her, but... I figured, you know, with... Oh, she has 49 stress. I really should have uh, de-stressed her before we took her out on this mission. Poor play. But with camping, maybe we can do something about it. Vessel has, like, a better chance of doing good stuff in the confession booth, I think. They're absolved of a sin. Egomania purge. So that was basically saved us a shit ton of gold... Uh, that we would normally have used in a sanitarium. But I don't really know what uh, Egomania did for us. It's They're obsessed with themselves. Maybe that makes them more likely to be... Um, is this some kind of like curia cabinet here? Lock display cabinet. You know what? Oh, all right. So apparently, it's trapped. Resisted the blight though, uh, and thankfully, egomania purged finally got taken off the screen. Nick did not get bled, which is great. Hoping there is like one room battle down here. Otherwise, we're kind of wasting our time. There we go. We did surprise them. This is huge. So those units at the back have got to go. We can deal with Rend from the Old Gods, which is bleed. 45% stun, 20% stun. We might want to stun the first two. I'm 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 remembering how the A-team works now. Yeah, you go for those early stuns. Then you could uh, go for like a Zealous Accusation or even a Smite, which could possibly get a kill here. What's the damage? 8 to 14? 6 to 12? Let's go for it. Oh. Oh, but now they can't stun the one in the the number two slot because uh, they've been pushed up. Maybe I should have gone for Zealous Accusation. It's alright. Almost everybody's stunned. Uh, we have three stuns here. This is good because Bear is not a... Uh, oh, they resisted the stun. But Bear's not a stunner, so... Uh, this might be best for us. What do you think? Do you want to just go for the kill on the Cultistic Enchanter or do you want to go for the... Blinding Gas? I, I like the idea of keeping stressful units stunned. Let's see if we can stun this unit. It's tough, but I'd rather have this unit not be able to go on this turn. Ah, yeah. I mean, they have a great dodge stat. I'm not surprised that this worked the way it did. Maybe we can smite them down if we get super lucky. It's damage, but we're probably going to get hit by a stressful incantation. And they chose the right target. You know, I can't be mad about that. We'll do uh, Barbaric Yop again. Good crit. Lower her stress, hopefully. Did debuffer, of course, but the fact that these three units are stunned is great. This is a good A-team, man. I like it. You know, Bear does does his thing as well, but... Oh, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Bear, like, Bear does fine as well as a healer, but um, this is like full stun loadout. I like it a lot. Our DPS output is awful, but, you know, as long as the shots land, who cares? And now we can actually afford to do uh, an attack here. Pretty good. We only have to hit two units. The, the less units there are, the more we can afford to not use stuns. Now, we already have a stun that hits like two units. So, we should probably not use a one unit stun here. And we'll just go for the kill instead. Nice! Now, Nick can go for an incision. Uh, if it's necessary. It might be. Oh, wow. Uh, we'll try a Barbaric Yop again. It debuffs the shit out of our Hellion, but, you know, as long as I just use them as a perpetual stunner and I don't need them to do damage, that doesn't really matter. There we go. Finally, we got a hit there. And that'll be the end of that mission. We got a Beast Slayer's Ring. All right. That seems pretty good. Let's use our Skeleton Key on this Unlock Strong Box. Strong Box. I was hoping that maybe that would find a hidden compartment or something. Maybe that's only on, like, heirloom chests or something. Cool. That was fine, and we'll go explore this area over here. Again, Kate's stress is worrying, 
But we can use our skills at camping. When camping, I should say, to uh, not have to worry so much about that. Oh, I should totally upgrade our blacksmithing area as well. We got surprised. Look, that one's on me. I should have cranked up our torches a little bit more, but we were uh, we were doing okay with it. Good hit from Nick. Most of our most of our skills can still be used from this area. <clears throat> anyway, as far as I know. I don't love the idea of throwing out a stun in this situation, but we might as well stun one unit. We should have looked for lower stun resist. Yeah, because they had 45, you had 20. At the same time, we did 6 damage, which is pretty good. Graveyard Slash did some serious damage there. I hate the the goblet, but whatever. I, I would like to do Barbaric Yob. Please stun the back unit. Good, good, good. Now I feel somewhat vindicated. We will go for maybe a Zealous Accusation. What is my dodge, or my miss stat? My accuracy, I should say, because it's not going so hot right now. We've really got to get those back units taken care of. Both stunned. I like it. Not going to have to worry about a stressful incantation anytime soon. Uh, just go for the kill. I think you can probably get it. You're a hero, so I appreciate it. And uh, Kate as our Hellion. Barbaric Yop again. The unit with the higher stun resist is gone, but sadly, one of the uh, Bone Nobles made it out. Maybe we can chop him down. I mean, what's Zealous Accusation's damage? 4 to 7. Uh, probably, yeah, that's what I was going to suggest. Good enough to get a kill on one of them anyway. So we might have to deal with one more stressful incantation. No, it's Knife in the Dark. I'd prefer to take damage than take stress at this point anyway, so that's fine. Um, let's throw out a stun on the back unit. Alright, now we really got to get this kill. Noxious Blast. Uh, yeah, I was going to say theoretical possibility that works. Go for the Smite. Oh, come on, Kate. Even though your damage is, like, super low, I believe in you here. Well, just do Barbaric Yop. Doesn't get much lower than one, and you can get the stun out of it. And Nick will get the kill. That was okay. Remind yourself, Clearly could have been better. But uh, what's done is done. Killer. Now, I'd like to wait for this debuff to come off. If we walk back, does it have a lower chance? Like, does it go away? It's gone. Okay. Crank on a torch. And this is our last area on this area of the map. So, yeah. After this point, it's just backtracking. Now the map becomes uh, a little bit easier. Admittedly, you know, concerned about the, the stress levels of our team. But that's what camping's for. We've got some camping skills that remove stress. Some camping skills that give uh, stress resist. We really want to avoid... Ooh, man, that's a lot of food thus far. We really want to avoid uh, Kate having her resolve tested or anyone ending up on death's door because a uh, unit's resolve being tested or them being seriously wounded is one of the fastest ways to make sure that everybody's resolve ends up being tested. For now, though, this is uh, totally fine, I'd say. Stress is going a little higher. It's the perfect number. We might even, for once, instead of camping to get HP, we might camp to avoid stress, which is kind of rare, for me at least. Alright, well we do have an alchemist. We might as well, or the plague doctor, we might as well use a torch on this, which gives you full light, as far as I know. So instead of getting like just a little bit of light out of it, we're going to get a lot of light out of it. And then we'll just have Nick hang out here. An accident occurs! He resisted the blight, though. Okay, we're still at a, a good amount of light when it comes to surprising enemies, so I don't mind coming in here. And let's scout. Is there combat in our other room up there? It does not appear so, so we can probably just avoid that room. Don't touch this bookshelf. Thank you. Who has highest trap percentage? 30? 45? You're my hero, Nick. 40? 30. Nice! Check that out. Alright, stress is coming in because we're a little dark here. This is a lot of food to be eating to the point where if we camp, I actually can't eat eight food because it'll um, make it so if we starve, we take a lot of stress damage. So we're just gonna keep moving and, you know, save some food for camping. At least four. Don't freaking touch the Iron Maiden. I swear to God. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, it swings shut on its own, trapping the hero. Never would have expected that. Now he's claustrophobic. Hey, let me get inside of this medieval torture device. Yeah, good idea. Me. Not. Let's be honest here. We don't need to use any stuns. 
If we just go for full out DPS, these units will die. Nice crit, lower stress a little bit, yeah. Took some off of Kate here, which I appreciate a lot because she is the one that's in the most uh, dangerous position right now. And that's a very easy encounter. Usually don't get rewards for that. But, you know, experience is its own reward, isn't it? There's an inventory slot freed up based on the fact that we just used uh, one of the last torches in our stack. Did not surprise the enemies. And we have a big enemy, which is annoying. But we can still st um, stun the two units at the back. So we're just going to go for full-on damage here. Stun resist is 70. Even though stun resist is 70, I think we're going to give it a try. Because this does 3 to 6 damage. Judgment does 4 to 9. For the 30% chance of a stun, I like it. Nice. Blanket fire can crit and annoy the shit out of us. Or we can all dodge it, which is fantastic. Shank. Probably bleed. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We can use bandages. Nick is going to go for the stuns at the back. They both have a 45% chance. And the Fusilier resisted, which sucks, but uh, we can live with it. And we can afford to go... I mean, we can do Iron Swan for 9 to 18 damage on the Fusilier. I like that instead of attacking the tank. Oh! 36! Lowered her stress a little bit as well. Okay, so one unit and an annoying unit has been taken out. This unit is still stunned, so we can afford to take another turn to do something. Maybe Noxious Blast, which uh, only does 3 to 6 damage. What's your Blight Resist? 45? It says 5 to 9. Uh, but it blights for 2 points for 3 rounds, and uh, even though his Blight Resist is high, so is our Blight Chance because of the Trinket that we've got here. You know, plus 10% chance to Blight skills. Did 5 damage. They resisted the Blight, but the, you know, that's going to happen sometimes. I think instead of debuffing, we're just going to go for, you know, full-on DPS on the, the tank here. Which might not be the right way to handle it, but considering we can't hit the unit at the back with our melee units, it's the way we're going to roll with it. We might end up taking an extra hit or two in the process. What do you think? Do we go for the stun here? I don't think there's any reason not to, because this, this probably won't get the kill, and we'll get the kill next turn anyway, by the way. Should have um, used the bandages that turn. Relatively minor mistake, but it'll, it'll hurt us. And the stun worked. That's fantastic. We, we should be able to wipe them this turn, if I had to guess. Since you're already blighted, we'll go for incision. That'll get the kill. Uh, we'll go for the stun. The damage is... Like, guaranteed damage is good. The stun resist, I don't really care about, you know? If it hits, it hits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's going to be the kill. Nice. I'm going to use bandages here. What is this? Something holy? Let's let, uh... Let's let Mauls take care of it. The water reinvigorates the hero. They got healed for two. Should have had me do it, but whatever. That was totally fine. And let's keep moving here. Nick, go ahead and touch this. If you get blighted, we have anti-venom anyway, so, yeah. Doesn't that didn't cause any increased stress or anything? Slavering Ghoul is ba this is basically exactly the same as what we just had. Please stun. Nice. Okay, now we can focus the the first unit down. Rend. Please don't cause stress. Blight. Well, we did just use anti venom, which sucks, but um, we'll throw out the stun. Stun resist seventy. Still worth it, I think. As long as it hits and does damage, even if they resist the stun, that's fine. Uh, we have to go for, you know, just raw damage here, because these next units can't hit the units at the back. That three-point blight is absurd. Uh, yeah, might as well just go for the hit. Would have loved to crit there, but that's okay. Stressful incantation probably next up. Oh, no. Okay, so we might, if we get lucky, stun again. Ah, beautiful. As long as we can avoid stressful incantation, life is good. There's a little bit more damage. They resisted the stun, so hopefully our... Melee units are strong enough to finish the job here. I think we got a pretty good chance of it. Nice! Okay. They might get to go first and do a stressful incantation. Yeah, they do. Ah, uh, you know, you hit a unit that had four stress. Uh, that doesn't bother me too much. This should be kill. Eights. I'd like Nick to not get the kill, but get close. Ah! Because I wanted to have a chance to heal Kate. This oh well. At least we picked up another success. skeleton key, which is uh, fine. Don't touch the books. I, I really don't want to have my characters get diseases, basically. Clear. 
We require only the strength Nothing to follow here. it. What do you think? We're pretty close. I think we should camp right now. And we'll camp with four food to get a little a HP back. Won't recover any stress, but that's fine. All right, so for our respite, we should probably do wound care and stress relief on pretty much Kate exclusively, which is not that surprising considering uh, she was uh, underleveled for this mission. Let's do some wound care. She's looking a little better. Uh, you don't have wound care. Bless companion, so that's a buff. Uh, yeah, sure, reduce her stress by a little bit. And with six left, why don't we buff ourselves? Like, by buff me. And honestly, I think we should use, uh, leeches. Maybe it could remove a disease from Kate as well. No, it did heal for four, though, so I'm not too mad about it. We'll rest. Hopefully not get ambushed. And I'd say our party's looking pretty good, especially if we don't have to backtrack. If we don't have to backtrack, we should be fine here. This is honestly, you know, it's as good as the A-Team with Bear. Maybe even better, honestly. No offense, Bear, but uh, Mauls is a pretty, you know, badass healer here. Doing a lot of damage, getting a lot of stuns. That's the one thing Bear lacks is a stun, although his heal is usually better. We haven't really had to use our heal at all over the course of this game, though, so... It's not like that's necessarily that likely to be relevant. No combat here. I hope there's combat in this last room, otherwise we have to backtrack. There's treasures, so there's probably combat. This mission's going alright, though. Don't touch it. Ah! Do you learn nothing? Every time you open something, you get freaking screwed. Surprise. Surprise? No, that's okay. Just a normal fight. She's bleeding. We have another set of bandages. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, it only hits one unit if it hits at all, but I still think it's worth going for the stun with Nick. Prevented a lot of stress. Uh... I think we do go for a stun. We can only hit one of these units. Let's hit the one at the front. What does it matter? Ah. That sucks. Well, you can't bleed twice, I think. Oh, no, you can. Bleeding stacks? Well, we healed two for the price of one. They have good stun resist, but... Good. We still got it. I think we've been getting pretty lucky on those dice rolls, to be honest with you. Had a chance for a kill there. That's all right. We did get buffed, you know, we have a higher accuracy. No higher crit chance, though. Even though this unit is... Uh, that unit's not going to get to attack, so if we can get the kill here, it's worth it. We crit for 31, which is just ridiculous. We're getting great stress relief just from crits right now. And we get to go next. We have an okay chance of getting a kill here, I think it's our best option. Big miss, but that's alright. Tempting Goblet is going to stress us out. She's still at 54, though. Assuming that the next room is the last combat, this mission should be pretty much over. Oh. Oh, bad dodges. Alright. Nick has to go for Incision. That's decent enough damage. Doesn't really matter that they resisted the bleed. We'll just get him in raw damage anyway. Stressing Nick out doesn't matter. The damage is relatively meaningless. Bleed would suck here. All right. It is what it is. Perfect. It was a slight risk because we could have only done four damage and not gotten the kill, but I think it was worth it. And Nick finished the job because he's mad. If only and we got a bounty hunter object. So I'm assuming that this is going to be the last room for us. So I'm going to make a little bit of a gamble. We're going to have Kate eat some food. Uh, why, why even save one food now that I think about it? Let's just get a move on here. Everybody's good. We might as well make sure we're at 100% light when we go through the door. Or close to it anyway. Surprise? Nope. But uh, honestly, these enemies don't look that bad. That quarrel is just a fucking nightmare when it crits. That's okay, though. Uh, they've got low HP, but I think we chopped for the kill. Barely got it. That was instead of using Zealous Accusation. Bump in the night. Ah, not so bad. Nick probably goes for the double, well, single stun. So we can avoid taking more stress damage, which is basically just a financial concern right now, because we're going to end up going back to town right after this, in all likelihood. Good, we got the double stun. 
And we'll try... Oh, we can't get another one. So we'll just go for the uh, straight-up damage. Nice. Now we can target both of these units with pretty much any attack we want to, except for Nick's stun. It's not so bad. Tempting Goblet. The stress is going to be annoying. She'll probably have to go to uh, stress relief now. That's okay, though. Now a Zealous Accusation or a Breakthrough should finish the job on that guy. Um... Just to make sure... Uh, let's, let's do a Wicked Hack. I didn't expect it to do much damage, but truth be told, 10% is okay. And she's just going to go for the raw... Ah, uh, no. She should go for Dazzling Light. My thinking is that uh, Zealous Accusation will probably get both of these kills now. And it worked perfectly fine. Lovely. Mission's over, so we, we gambled correctly there. Heirloom Chest is... We're going to use the Skeleton Key. It unlocks a hidden compartment, which gives us uh, a few more treasures. Nothing else really to do on this mission, so let's leave. All right, that was another pretty good one, all things considered. We got about uh, 9,200 gold. Uh, trying to click next here. Let's see what we got in terms of our... Oh, Kate got leveled up to level 3, which is good. Let's see what we got in terms of our quirks. Slayer of Unholy is good against Unholy Monsters. Improved Balance is just good overall. And Resilient, again, just great overall. For now, though, I'm, I'm going to do the um, party stuff on the next episode. Oh, Liza Minnelli blacked out and misplaced a trinket. Fantastic. But in any case, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching. I think this is going pretty well. And I'll see you next time.